Previously on the job. No! It's Julio! Why do you hate me, San Diego? episode of The Jar. Welcome to this week. Let's see what happens. Hey guys, it's Laura. Let's take a look at Cadbury's Glass and a Half Full Productions. Famous for taking a little wacky idea and turning it into a full-blown blockbuster. So, this is the latest. of cabby purple, I think eyebrow dancing and a driller behind a drum kit. Driller? Wow, invented a fucking animal. Now that's random positive association at its finest. To me, this kind of feels like the encore that didn't quite make it. Kind of like Cam's segment after mine. My bad. My bad. Though the production value is effective, wouldn't say that it's inspiring. But in terms of viral, like the gorilla, there's already hundreds of parodies on YouTube with different backing tracks. Challenge? Can Cabri make the ads feel more like a production and less like a half? I guess we'll see. Keep the crazy coming, Cabri. Hi, I'm Cam. Simplicity is what caught my eye this week. At the Rio Carnival this year, Antarctica Beer or BOA, as it is called by the locals, faced a bit of a problem. How were you meant to find a BOA street vendor amongst the crowd? Well, our Matt BBDO and Sao Paulo came up with a GPS. No, no, don't reach for your smartphone. It was a physical arrow that hung above the carts. To demonstrate how much it loves and cares for beer drinkers, Antarctica created the Beer GPS, a giant arrow that helped people find an Antarctica vendor. Results were so good that Antarctica vendors didn't even have time to dance the samba. The result? Top selling beer of the day and made waves on the internet. My thoughts? This is a perfect example of not overcomplicating a creative concept. This could have been taken much further, but I find it very refreshing that they didn't. Low budget, big revenue, advertising at its finest. Clevenger BBDO Melbourne made the support scent campaign in 2010. This year in 2011, it's taking home two Golden Cleos. A personal thank you to Clevenger BBDO for bringing the gold to Melbourne, Australia. The campaign? Guide Dogs Australia. The problem? How do you show support for someone who can't see? The answer is, get away from ribbons and pins and create something that allows the blind community to know who's supporting them. Support Scent is a fragrance which has been created um, as a fundraising and awareness campaign so that for the first time, the blind and vision impaired can actually truly sense support all around them. If, if someone's wearing a, a ribbon or a badge, you don't have any idea, but um, if you're on the bus sitting next to someone who has a particular fragrance, I know often I can detect what fragrance it is if someone one's next to me. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite a unique scent. I'm sure I'd be able to um, recognise it on a, on a fellow passenger or on a fellow shopper. That's certainly something I would wear. Hmm. I would definitely recognise that if someone was wearing it. Yeah, it'll be really nice to be able to um, have that commonality and say, oh, you support the guide dogs. Support Scent's going to be available from Kit Cosmetics stores around the country and also at selected Maya stores nationally as well. And our Support Scent will cost $5 per pack. Simply, the campaign is a big win. Such a simple idea with such a big effect. <laughs> you should do that. Thanks for joining us for another episode of The Jar. If you like what you see, like here. Not here. Here, sickos. And subscribe up here, please. Subscribe up here. Find us at Twitter and Tumblr, and if you want to view any of the videos from today's episode, just click anywhere. Yeah. <laughs>